around the Monterey Bay, we've been dealing with lots of different issues, and each of our areas, our watersheds, are unique with the challenges from seawater intrusion to ultimately water supply. And here on the Monterey Peninsula, water supply is a critical issue. Because the Carmel River, which has been historically the source of water for the Monterey Peninsula for, for generations, is no longer going to be able to be continue as that supply, locals are trying to find work together to find other solutions. And they've come up with a pretty interesting suite of possibilities, aquifer storage and recharge, groundwater, as well as uh, looking at potential for desalination projects. There's a desalination project here uh, for the city of San City that's very close to us here that's been augmenting the, the take for quite some, uh, for a number of years and showing you know, how a system like that can work on the central coast. But in order to shift supplies, again, it takes resources and takes cooperation across the board. As we move further around, the Salinas River is very, very heavily impacted and generally used for agriculture. And as groundwater or saltwater intrusion hits the Salinas River supplies, then that is not only threatening agricultural uses, but also human uses around the Monterey Bay. In the Pajaro watershed region, there's been a lot of work done in between the Coastal Conservancy and the Resource Conservation Districts to bring all of the players together. And I, I hope as, a, as we design the, the the funding mechanisms coming out of the bond that we can look to the non-regulatory agencies to work with the local agencies and the stakeholders across the, the water spectrum to be able to come up with real solutions. If you pass through Castroville on your way down here, a lot of, especially in the summer months, a lot of the agricultural uses there are tertiary water that come from the marina water plant. That's a, a great use of water, recycled water, to be able to water crops. And again, we're in the salad bowl of the state and really of the country. So those innovative programs are ultimately very important. But again, it takes resources to run that infrastructure and to manage those, ultimately, those water supplies. And then working around the, the rest of the way around the Monterey Bay into Santa Cruz, we've got some of the watersheds there that the County of Santa Cruz has been working on for quite some time to assure the sanctity of the water supply for human use, but also for the habitat that that represents. There's been a lot of work done to protect the Salmonid populations in those river systems. We've seen over the last number of years the extinction of coho salmon the extinction line for coho salmon moving progressively further north as we lose them in our more southern streams. That just shows that, that there's a lot of work yet to be done in, in managing those watersheds. So as we have some great projects, that all takes capital, it takes coordination, and it takes new ways of looking at solving the issues that we have around the Monterey Bay.